Welcome back to the show. Joe Zagacki, Don Bailey Jr., and Josh Terrell. Miami and North Carolina State on Saturday at 7.30, Hard Rock Stadium. State has won five in a row. They beat Clemson, had a great uh, win against Boston College. They're ranked 18th in the country. They are loaded with veteran players. Dave Dorn has been there for a long time now. This might be the best team he's had. They're rolling. This is a big opportunity for Miami. I like the way they play. I was impressed with them when we went up there a couple years ago with Coach Rick. I was impressed with them uh, when Miami beat them last year. They still made a lot of plays. But what I see them, when I look at them as a football team, they are tough. They're hard-nosed. They don't surrender. They go after you. They've got a, a, an excellent player on the offensive line. They've got a quarterback that has become very, very efficient. They have the running game in place. They have a bit of an oddity on defense with, with that 3-3 thing where they can shift it and bring guys from all different directions and, it, and you have to be prepared for that. I think it's going to be a very tough challenge for the University of Miami, but they can win this football game. There's no question in my mind that they have the skill to do it, but there's going to be a 60-minute deal. This is not going to be something I think that you can pick up at, at the second half and close the deal. No, and I think also with the way they play defense, you're going to have to stick with it because mm -hmm. nothing's going to come easy. They're one of the elite teams in the ACC, if not the country, in terms of how they play on the defensive side of the ball. And then offensively, uh, you know, you just look at a team, they, they kind of play off of each other, right? The offense and the defense, and um, they don't turn it over much. They, they, they grab turnovers. They get off the field on third down. They're also an experienced team. They have a lot of veterans. They have some grad transfers. And like you said, co their coach has been there eight or nine years, so they kind of know, everyone in the program knows what Dave Dorn wants. He knows how he wants it to look, his coaches know how it's supposed to be, and his players have been in the program. Well, I'll give you this, uh, paint this picture. He's from Wisconsin, but this is the ACC's version of Michigan State. The quarterback is steady, Devin Leary is steady, just like the quarterback at Michigan State. The running backs might not be as elusive as Walker, but Bam Knight runs really hard. They've got a bevy of wide receivers. And big ones. Oh. Uh, big ones, <laughs> little ones, in between ones, a tight end that's really good, a uh, defense that's allowing less than 100 yards a game. That's why they're in the position. Rushing 100 yards. That's why they're in the position that they're in. That's where they've got one loss, and it was against the Southeastern Conference team early in the season. And let's go back to the most important thing that's happened for them. They beat Clemson. What more do they need to know? Where does all the confidence come from? Joe, you talk about it all the time. You get that one win, the next one comes, the next one comes. They beat Clemson. That's what, whether Clemson's got one loss or 10 in this era, that means something. And I think that's where a lot of their confidence has come from because now they're believing in that program that you were talking about that Coach Dorn has created. Yeah, and I think you have guys that have been there and been through it, right? And they, and they know uh, what it's like and now of course they they, they should at least they, they should s be seeking the opportunity that's sitting in front of them which would be to get to Charlotte and play for the ACC championship game play for a New Year's Day bowl game I mean I, I would imagine if you're on that side of the equation you're telling your squad everything is out there in front of you to, for you to you, you like like Don said they slayed the dragon and now it's all out there for you they're giving up 296 yards a game on defense under 100 rushing we mentioned this with Coach Diaz. Their punter is averaging 46 yards a punt. But he's got like 13 or 14 that are 50 yards or more. He puts the ball inside the 20-yard line. So what they do is they force you to play on the long field against a very stout defense. You mentioned the 3-3-5, which is becoming more and more popular in college football. Miami's execution against this defense is going to have to be really good. And I'll remind you, we got a punter like that too. We got a guy that can, that can kick it. He, it was not his best game last week against uh, North Carolina, but the field position is going to be key. And, I, and I'm with you, Joe. The challenge of this defense is that you don't know where the people are coming from. I do know this. They've got a, a strong point of attack guy playing over the center at the nose guard. Those two outside guys can rush the passer, but the linebacking core, yeah. those are the ones that cause the problem. And then they drop in somebody from the secondary on a frequent basis as well. You know, Got a chance to sneak in some time when we were in Chapel Hill getting, getting ready for the NC State game. And, and that 3-3-5, three, three, they don't have a lot of sacks, right? So it's not that kind of defense, but the linebackers jumped out to me. One and two, um, Moore and, and Scott uh, made a ton of plays. And then the safety behind them kind of fills in behind them. And that's, that's kind of that layered defense now that you see that you, have, that you have depth to your defense and you have different guys at different levels that can come down 
uh, and make plays. And then, you know, they got to keep the, the transfer from Florida State in the middle of that defense. Um, and then, the, yeah, they're going to move guys around. And so that'll be the challenge for the offensive line, the communication. Tyler Van Dyke is trying to identify it. And also probably knowing they're, you're never going to want to know this, but it's going to have to, if there's a bad play, kind of get up, regroup, go play the next play. And the running game is going to be a key component, Joe. You know, the, the, what, because it'll take the pressure off the quarterback. Because, again, Tyler hasn't th- seen this before. There's going to be no recall for him. Jalen Knight, you're going to have to come through in this one. Okay, the uh, path to victory. The keys to the game, we'll have that for you when we come back right after this. If you train like a pro, then you should be treated like a pro. Much like the human body, our team of sports medicine experts moves as one to achieve a singular goal. your game. I will fight I always do until my heart is black and blue 